What is going on guys? Gray here today. I'd like to talk about the big level requirement caps that will be added into Diablo 4 in Season 1. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course if you enjoy the video, hit the like button. And if you had not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well. When it comes to Diablo 4's gear as it stands right now, before the new update and Season 1 is released, a piece of gear will, with a level requirement of 60 may be just as powerful or weaker than a piece of gear at level 100. That's because level requirements only increase as players gain levels. Players at lower level, of course, get lower level gear requirements on their gear than players at higher levels. During uh, Season 1, they're going to change this up. This was confirmed by the game director in a recent interview that Blizzard will make sweeping changes to level requirements on gear starting uh, in Season 1 on July the 20th. Changes will make it so that all Sacred Gear will have a level requirement of 60, while all Ancestral Gear will have a level requirement of 80. Level requirements will no longer scale, at least for the Sacred and Ancestral Gear. That was the only thing he talked about. I'm assuming those are, the, 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 those are going to be the only ones that this will be kind of affecting, but we may just have to wait and see once the update in Season 1 is released. Of course, these are, this change is going to have some pretty significant effects, I guess, on the player base. Because the biggest impact, of course, is going to be players will no longer uh, be able to get some of that gear until they are a certain level. So you're going to have to reach those higher levels in, a, in order to gain more power. So currently, of course, if an ancestral piece of gear drops, as soon as a player unlocks the Torment difficulty and has a minimum level cap of 60, that Ancestral Gear will stop dropping, of course. That's not going to be the case in Season 1. You'll have to reach level 80 before they can even equip it. So you'll have to be level 80 in Season 1 before you can equip that Ancestral Gear. So that means players will be a little weaker, not quite as powerful uh, in Season 1 until they get to that higher level cap or that higher level progression. Um, it's going to be kind of a uh, almost a thing where you're going to start out a little bit weaker. Once you get to 60 to 80, that 60 to 80 range is where you're going to be doing a lot of grinding, a lot of farming. Um, and it's going to be where you start seeing more and more power on your character. Of course, uh, character progression is just kind of a change, you know, that, that's going to, or, you know, the way they're doing this different progression, excuse me, not character progression, but... Uh, gear progression is just something we can kind of come to expect i'm assuming going forward from season to season not just in season one we may see more uh, changes in season one that they have not mentioned yet or something you know different down the road in season one but i'm assuming we're probably going to start to see a lot of these changes uh in each season going forward because they're not wanting players to be too strong too powerful right off the bat they're wanting you to get to a certain level now and then you can start grinding out that gear. I know this is going to be disappointing for some players that may not be able to grind out level 80 on a character in a season. If you don't get to play a lot, that is a bit disappointing. But I'm kind of curious what you guys think. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.